y'all welcome back to my channel um texas tati and today i thought it would be fun to do a little makeup and just beauty haul um i kind of went a little crazy this past week on a few orders and i can't wait to show y'all and also i wanted to talk about the um hundred subscriber giveaway that I am planning on doing. I think I'm like 16 subscribers away, but I have been saving up makeup for basically since I started my channel and I've placed a few orders of things. And so I wanted to kind of give you all a little sneak peek as to what some of the items are gonna be that are going to be included in that giveaway. Um, other than that, so let's get started. The first thing that we're going to start with is Makeup Geek. I um, had watched on Just Ann's channel um, where she had done a, they had a $10 grab bag and my daughter and I were both very interested in it. And um, so we ordered like four of them, I think. We wanted, to, yeah, we ordered two and then we ordered two more or maybe I think, yeah, I think we ordered two and then ordered two more. Anyhow, um, we got several duplicates, and so the duplicates are going into the giveaway, and I will show y'all those in a minute, but I wanted to show y'all um, what I had gotten and what, what we both got, actually. So, I got a Z palette, or I don't, I just learned today that that's actually a brand, but I got one of those magnetic palettes. And so far, I just have one shade in it, and um, I don't remember what it's called. Hold on. This is actually one of their newer ones because it's in the square. Oh, and I dropped it. It's in the square palette, um, but this one is called White Lies. And other than that, I really don't have anything else in this palette yet, but I've already got my eye on several single eyeshadows that I want to look into. And then... We both have several of these. Whenever you do the $10 grab bag, which I believe as of today is still available on the Makeup Geek website, they send you two of these and like 12 eyeshadows, I believe, the single eyeshadows. And so we fixed our palettes up the way that we wanted. And um, like I said, we have the extra single eyeshadows and those will be included in the giveaway once I reach 100 subscribers. But I just wanted to show you really quickly the um, little four pan palettes that we created using those. There's this one right here. This is kind of the pinky one. Um, I really love like this color and those. And I don't know, I like pinks. <laughs> I like pinks and I like nudes, but I also like the bright colors too. So, you know. Uh, this one, and I don't know what all the names are. I have to use, this is my first experience with these magnetic palettes, and I discovered that you have to have a stronger magnet to take them out. So, unfortunately, I put them all in before I could, before I thought to write them down. So, all I can do is just show you each one of the palettes. Here's another pink's. Oops, sorry. And then I have a purple, and I'm really liking this pink right here. I have used that one several times. Uh, some more of the earth tones right there. And then the blues and silvers. And like I said, it's a really great deal. Sorry, my nose is itching. It's a really great deal. You get like 12 single shadows and then you get two of these. And like I said, we bought four of the sets. And um, I think my daughter has the other two with her. And then I also got some bronzers and blushes um, that I have really, really been enjoying. Let me make sure I grab them all. Okay. I got a couple of the ones that didn't come in a palette they just came in the single pan and then i just purchased the um the palettes to go with them this is what the palettes look like they're i believe they're the gunmetal and this is the bronzer shade that i ordered hold on 
and that's the one I've been wearing pretty much every day for the past week. It's one I've got on right now. Um, and then I also purchased this highlighter shade that was in a single pan. And I just, I believe these little gunmetal um, magnetic palettes, I think they were like $4. They were not very expensive at all. And then I bought some that were already in. But I like the fact that they are the same box. So this is a blush and it is called Covet. It's a little bit darker than what I originally thought it was. But it's still... Let me swatch that for you. I can still work with it. I just... um I prefer like the uh, peachier shades and whatnot. But I can still work with this. Just have to blend it out a little bit more. And that one was in Covet. And then I have Bliss, which is the one that I'm wearing right now. And I really like this one. And like I said, it's more of a peachier shade. And I'll swatch that one for you as well. And I've even considered, like, mixing the two. I don't know if y'all can even see that or not. It's very, very light compared to the other one. I've thought about mixing the two. And I may try that out in tomorrow's eye look or whatever. In tomorrow's face look. And then I bought these highlighters. This one is Midnight Sun. And out of the three highlighters that I got, this is my favorite. I'm wearing it right now. I've worn it several times. And it also comes in the same case. And then this one is Psychedelic. Oh, I guess I could have swatched the highlighters for you. Let me see. This one's... It looks white in the pan. But it has like a pink... Um, kind of a pink shimmer to it. Where is it at? I don't know if the camera's even going to pick that up or not. Let's try the other one. Okay. I don't know. It's dark right now. Like, it's actually like 10 o'clock at night. And I think that's playing a bit of a havoc on my light situation. So, I may make it a little bit harder to uh, see everything. Okay. And then, so, they I picked up three of the um, loose powder shadows. And I got this one is in the color Kaleidoscope. And it was, like, my favorite. And so, I ordered one of these. For the giveaway. And so I got one for me and one for the giveaway. And it's kind of a, um, it's a duochrome and it's like the, um, kind of the purple and turquoise or whatever. I'm going to try to get some on my fingers so I can show you. Because like I said, they're really a loose powder and I'm not experienced with these at all. <laughs> okay, here we go. That is that one right there. It's showing up a lot lighter on camera of course because the lights in here then um i think it would be well then it is in person but this one is called kaleidoscope and like i said i have put one of these in the giveaway that i'm planning when i hit 100 subscribers and then i also got this one is called illusion and let's see it's a more pink duochrome my hands are going to be so shimmery after this. Let me see. And that's right there. Right? No, it's right here. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I really wish that y'all could see these colors because they're so pretty and vibrant. They're just not showing up that way. Okay. And then the last um, loose powder shadow that I got, I got in Wildfire, which is a little bit darker than Illusion. And I really didn't have any duochromes before these, and so I, I'm really excited to play around with them. Okay, maybe if I put it, eh, maybe we build it up a little bit, then y'all could see it a little better. Okay, surely that one's going to show better. Where did I put it? I put it right there. Okay. No, it's just not, is it? It's just not. Okay. 
but it's really pretty <laughs> if you could see it. Alrighty, and then I'm not going to swatch the um, the shadows that I'm putting in the giveaway, obviously, for obvious reasons, but I wanted to kind of show them to y'all really quick. Like I said, I'd just give you a couple of sneak peeks. I do have um, a couple other items that I've ordered, and I'm waiting for them to come in. Um, but from the Makeup Geek, I thought I would show y'all. We have Stardust and Latte, Autumn Breeze. This one is so pretty. I'm loving that blue. Sand Dollar and then Tinsel Town. Okay, and then of course, like I said, the Kaleidoscope Loose Powder. And also in here that I haven't spoken about, I have one of the Dosa Colors in Caffeine Queen right here. I'm going to see if I can open it for y'all and not swatch it. Okay. That's what that looks like. I have this also um, when they first... Um, I don't know, several months ago, we got one of these in our premium box or our base box. I don't remember which one. And I purchased all the ones that they had in the add-on store because they were for like 4 or $5 a piece. And that one is the only one that I... Somehow I managed to get Caffeine Queen twice, but it's also like the only one that I've worn out of all of them. So, I hope that y'all enjoy it. There are some other goodies in this box. But we're going to save those for later. I just wanted to kind of give you all a little bit of a sneak peek. And I'll, I'll show you one palette that I ordered for the giveaway as well. I didn't plan on this, so I don't actually have it out. Um, it is the Ofra Good To Go Mini Mix Palette that we received in BoxyCharm. This one is mine. I have purchased a brand new one off of add-ons, and I am waiting for it to come in because they're taking forever. But there will be one of these in the giveaway as well. And then the rest y'all are just going to have to wait until we get a little bit closer. All right. Um, so that was everything that I got from May. No, it wasn't. I got... Um, couple of brushes from Makeup Geek as well. They had them on sale for $3 a piece. And I love brushes and I should have gotten them out so I could show them to y'all and I didn't. Um, well, here's mine. It's the angled stippling brush right there. I haven't used it, but I have washed it. Where is the other one? I don't even remember what the other one was. I have way too many brushes in this container. I need to spread them out a bit more. Okay, I may not be able to show it to you because I don't know where it's at. Uh, um, yeah, we'll have to save that one for a later date because I don't know where it's at. Okay, but there was this brush... They had a few other ones, and like I said, they were on sale for, I believe, $3 a piece. I highly recommend that you go check them out. And I also um, recommend that you check out Afterpay if you're wanting to purchase makeup or anything, really. There's so many different options. I can't afford to, like, buy as much makeup and stuff as I want all at once. But with Afterpay, I've been able to purchase things here and there. I kind of know what I can afford out of each paycheck, and I'm loving it. I'm having a blast with it. I do have a code that I will put in the description box. If you use that code, I believe it's supposed to give me $20 off a purchase, and it will also give you $20 off a purchase of 50 or more. So you go on there and you buy $50 worth of makeup and it's going to immediately knock it down to 30 once you go to checkout. I mean, how awesome is that? That's like 20 bucks worth of free makeup. I'm down for it if you're down for it. Um, but I will link that code down in the description box. I'm pretty excited about it. I got it today or yesterday. 
they, um, oh, what is it? I don't remember. <laughs> Something, um, I've paid off X amount of purchases, so I got some sort of pulse rewards. It's, it's really neat. I'm really enjoying it. My daughter has signed up, and she ordered the baby some clothes, and they're so stinking cute. And, like I said, that's basically how I've gotten my makeup. You know, all the recent purchases that I've made, anyhow, like the past couple of months. And so, I'm really having a lot of fun with it. I highly recommend it. Okay. Um, next, we... Okay, so that was all of the makeup gig. That was all of it. Okay. Also, I got a new hair tool, which I am loving. My hair doesn't look really thick, but when you go to blow dry, like, it takes forever. My, my hairstylist, she's always telling me that my hair takes forever to dry. And I love the, uh, wavy, kind of like, you know, like where people can curl their hair with a straight iron. I really love that look. I can't do it. Like, she can, like, when she does my hair, she'll do it, and it looks great, you know, for the day or whatever. But I can't seem to figure it out. But I heard Paige Corn talking about this, and it's, you gotta pardon my, it's got hair in it, because I literally just used it before this video. But it's by Lang, and it is the, um, the roller brush blow dryer. Y'all, it takes like five minutes tops to blow dry my hair with this thing. And it just feels so lightweight, and it's got just the beautiful waves in it. And I, I mean, I just love it. I, I don't think I'm going to use my regular blow dryer anymore. I love this thing so much. It is like really big and kind of takes a little bit of getting used to handling. But I'm getting there, and I'm really, really having a lot of fun with it, and I'm loving it. Okay. Moving on, I also have a purchase that, oh, right here. Um, some of my add-ons came in today. Um, others haven't come in yet, and I still haven't gotten my April boxes yet. But on my add-ons, I got these two from Illuminati, Gel Paint Electric Blue and Gel Paint Electric Pink. I know that they had these in, I want to say a little... They come in one of our boxes a few months ago, but I didn't get them in mine. And I really like the um, colored eyeliners. And so when I saw them on add-ons this past time, I picked them up. So here is the electric blue and the electric pink. They're really vibrant. I really enjoyed it. I wanted to put on the pink today, but the eye look that I went for was a little bit softer. So I actually just went in with my um, lighter color pop one but I am looking forward to playing with these some more okay and then I picked up two of the Hue to Beauty Obsessions palettes I got the Amethyst Obsessions and I have not even I haven't done anything with these yet I haven't swatched them or played with them or anything but I'm loving the purples uh, let's do a couple of swatches we're going to do this deep purple right there because it's so pretty and I'm going to try to get some of the shimmer, even though I don't know, if, like I said, with the lights right now, if the shimmer is going to work all that well. This is the deep purple, and that's just barely going in. And then this is the one in the middle. Let me open them back up, and I'll show them to you. Okay. So that one was going in with this one right here is the deep purple, and then this one in the middle. They're so pretty. I can't wait to play around with them. We're going to go do blue bonnet pictures with my grandbaby probably tomorrow afternoon or maybe Monday after work if it doesn't rain. Um, those of you who are not from Texas, the blue bonnet is our state flower. It grows wild um, in the countryside and on the highways, and it's kind of a tradition, a Texas tradition. You go take blue bonnet pictures. Um, I've taken blue bonnet pictures with my kids pretty much every year of their life and the grandbaby She's three now and we've taken blue bonnet pictures with her every year so far and it's just a lot of fun We get dressed up, you know in the blue though. They're blue bonnets. They're really close to this color purple and so I'm definitely planning on doing an eye look um, using this palette 
for those pictures. Okay, moving on. I can't get the plastic sleeve back on there, so we're going to give up on it. All right, the other Huda Beauty Obsessions palette I got is the Ruby one. Red scare me, but I really, I want to try it. But reds really scare me. Like, I like pinks, um, but reds scare me. Okay, so here is the, um, one of the reds, and then that's the, I'm really not good at swatches, so just bear with me. I'll get better. <laughs> there was this red right here, and then if I went back in with the center one right there. I hope that y'all can see that. Okay. And then the last item that I got off add-ons that came in in this box today was the Pure Festival Festival 2.0 palette. Um, this is something that's been on add-ons for several months now, and I've looked at it a few times, and I was like, okay, this last time I think I had a credit of 12 extra dollars in my cart, and I thought I'm going to give it a try. But here it is. I do like the colorful looks, and so I am looking forward to playing with this one. I really am, this mirror will not fold all the way back. I'm really liking this Turn It Up, even though it's, you know, it's it's a red, but it's kind of like the orangey, pinkish red. I, I kind of like that color. And this Electric and um, Fantasy World. So that is this one, the blue, and then Fantasy World next to it. This one right here. Oh, that was not a very good swatch. And then the, oh, but look at that blue. Oh, my Lanta. And then, yeah, see, I like that color. I have a color very similar to that in my, um, in the Nostalgia palette, the Ace Beauté Nostalgia palette that we got. And I, I did an eye look with it. I really like that. Okay. That is the, the only items that I got out of BoxyCharms add-ons that have come in so far. Um, like I said, I'm still waiting on the Ofra Mix palette that's going to be going in the giveaway for the 100 subscribers. And then I'm also waiting on um, some other palette. I don't know. I don't remember what it was. But I'll, Oh, and some brushes. I, I got some brushes off the charm room. I'm waiting on those as well. Then I made a... Charlotte Tilbury purchase. Now, y'all, I did not make all these purchases in one week. They just all came in on the same day. I've got a Sol de Janeiro purchase that was supposed to come in today. I was really looking forward to it. And it, um, I don't know, all day long it set out for delivery. And then the FedEx guy came by my house and he did not leave it. And now it says pending. Or, I don't know. I'm sad about it. But I did make a Sol de Janeiro purchase, and it was kind of a large one. But I used a lot of my points, and so it didn't cost me a whole bunch of money. So I'm excited about that one. And when it comes in, I'll tell you all about it. But for the Charlotte Tilbury order, I didn't order a lot. I just ordered one of their little kits, and it came with uh, extra pillow talk because I wanted a backup because I've been wearing this one like crazy. Uh, if you haven't seen the pillow talk, it's what I'm wearing right now. But this is the shade. I love it. I love it. It's so pretty. I really love it. It's kind of breaking me out of my shell and getting me a little bit more comfortable with lipstick. So I'm really enjoying it. And then I also got the, um, the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Liquid Gloss. And the Lip Liner in pillow talk as well it was a set <coughs> excuse me y'all my mouth is like as dry as the sahara desert hold on Ugh. it's actually water in here i finished the powerade or the body armor hours ago and just filled it up with bottled water okay we may have to edit that out <laughs> um but yes okay oh, so it came with the lipstick the gloss and the lip liner because I didn't have a lip liner that matched the pillow chalk and I really wanted it. And then the last purchase that I had that came in was the Nudie Patootie Laura Lee Los Angeles palette. 
I heard Allie Dawson talking about this. I went on the website because I wanted to purchase one of the mystery bags, which this palette was in, like, every single one of the mystery bags. But, of course, they were sold out. And so, I was able to purchase the palette and um, a brush bundle, which I used the makeup brushes today, but I will show them to you. Um, this is the palette that I'm wearing on my eyes right now. And then, like I said, it came with a full brush set. And pardon me, they are dirty because, like I said, I wanted to use them today. I washed them this morning so that I could wear them this afternoon. And um, that's not... They're very similar to the Fenty. And I'm trying not to get them mixed up. Okay. Um, I don't know if that's all of them or not. Okay, well, these are not all of them. But these are the brushes right there um there is okay they they don't actually have names they're just the numbers there's the l14 the l15 the l11 i used this to apply my foundation today i really enjoyed it the l20 let me set those down the l20 um the l13 l12 L18, and now I remember where the other ones are. They're in the... I keep my dirty brushes in a jar after I use them. I'm dropping things. After I use them, I put them in the jar, and so it's just easier for me to go back through and wash them. Okay, then I have the L19 that I used for the eye look I'm wearing right now. The L17. Um... Some Lux brushes that I also used for the eye look. And then the L16. Y'all, I go through way more brushes in one setting than I probably should. But I don't mind washing my brushes. I know a lot of people are like, I don't like washing my brushes. It's a pain in the butt and every bottom, whatever. Um, I actually enjoy it. It's relaxing for me. I will... Um, like, I sit there on the couch or on my bed or wherever with my towel, and I have my little bowl that's got my little soap in it, and another little bowl with water. It's got the little mat in there. And, of course, I have to rinse them again at the sink, but I'll just sit there, like, watching TV at the end of the night, you know, and just cleaning my brushes. And then after I get them all done, I'll take them to the bathroom and rinse them off better, and I lay them out to dry. And, yeah, I really enjoy it. I know a lot of people don't. I do. Oh, also, the uh, Laura Lee Los Angeles brushes came with a cute little bag. And, all right, y'all, I think that's it. That's not too much. That's not too much. I don't think so. Um, yeah, I don't... Hmm. I went and bought the mascara that I heard people talking about. I'm wearing it. I don't know. It's all right. Um, it's flaky. Yeah, that's it. Okay. That's all I have. Oh, no, it's not. See, I was sitting there racking my brain. I couldn't think. Okay. I also got two liquid lipsticks from Makeup Geek as well. Aren't they so cute? I got this one. It's so tiny. If I can shut it. Get right there. And then, where's my makeup bag? Okay. The other one's actually been going with me. So, it was my makeup bag. This is the other one. And I will swatch that one as well. And I actually bought this one because it was really close shade to the Pillow Talk. Um, and I didn't have a gloss to go over my Pillow Talk lipstick. But then after I bought this is when I bought the, uh, the set. So, that is this one right here. I said, I love the nudie colors, and um, they're my favorites out of, I mean, that's usually what I gravitate toward, honestly. I also um, did purchase the, uh, it's not shutting, the drawer's not shutting. I, I, okay, I got it. I did purchase the Samantha March PR box, and... I did a makeup look with it, and my husband is supposed to be um, doing the commentary. 
I recorded this thing like a week ago, and he still hasn't sat down to do it. So I don't know when you're going to get to see that one. But he, he says he's going to, and I hope he does, because I did the whole thing in silence. Um, <laughs> and so, you know, if he doesn't commentary it, then I have to. And then, like, what's why when I've just done it when I was putting the makeup on. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully he gets that done soon. Hopefully I get it up. I think it'll be hilarious. Um... I'm really curious to see what he has to say about makeup. But I did order the other Samantha March PR box, her original one. I'm waiting on it to come in. And so when it does, I will do a, you know, get ready with me or an unboxing or something on that one. And, yeah, other than the Salt Asian Arrow, that's it. I mean, that's really not too much, I don't think. I, you know, y'all let me know. Did I go a little overboard? Or, I mean, it's not that much. I don't think it's that much. Okay. So, anyhow, thank you so much for checking out my video tonight. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a big thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. It takes two seconds to do, and it would mean the world to me. And I'm just, like, flying my hands around everywhere tonight. Um, Y'all have a great night. Stay warm. Stay safe. Okay, I got to quit the stay warm because it's getting hot. Okay, stay cool, stay safe, and stay blessed, and I will talk to y'all really soon. Bye-bye.